unswerving in his purpose, courageous Captain Midnight at last rounds up the dangerous Ivan Shark gang. But with one last thrust, Shark escapes, and Midnight once more is cast into jeopardy. <laughs> Are you sure you fixed him? Certainly. It won't be long now. Take a look back, boss. You might see something. That's what I call a nippy, Chief. They won't have a clue to follow. Radio the Greer hideout. Why radio? We're heading there now, aren't we? No. I have a greater plan. Do as I say. S1 calling number 17. S1 calling number 17. Number 17 answering. Go ahead. Have operators 9, 10, and 5 meet me at Edwards hideout at once. Answer. I'm worried. Please don't attempt anything more, Father. Do as I say, signing off. Does that mean we're going there too? Yes, drive there at once. All right, you hurting. The three of you get going. I told you he wouldn't come back. They're stealing my invention. No one's trying to steal it. Captain Albright has promised. It's Major Steel. There. I told you Albright wouldn't come. Dad. Will one of you let him in? Well, sure. Oh, howdy, Major. We were expecting Captain Albright. Anything happen? Yes, something important. I must see Mr. Edwards at once. Good morning, Major. We were expecting... I know Captain Albright. I came in his place. Uh, we have great news for you. The government has accepted your father's invention, and it will mean millions for him. Did you hear? Your rangefinder has been accepted. Of course. Why shouldn't it be? But I want it here with me. I'm afraid success has come too late. Why, he'll be all right. Uh, now, you go and pack a grip for him. We're flying to Washington at once. Oh, that's impossible. My father uh, could... Nonsense. It won't harm him. And you're going with him. A doctor, too. Uh, Captain Albright has a government plane waiting. Go ahead. It's all right if Captain Albright is for it. Very well, then. I'll only be a minute to pack. Chuck, you look after father. For sure. Captain, I'm sorry about Never mind about that. Where are the men? They're out looking for you. Any work from Major Steele? I just phoned his apartment. He hasn't been there all night. You think... Think? I know. Ivan Shark's gang have him a prisoner. What? That's right. We must find that hideout and attack. Get me the Edwards bungalow. Yes, hurry, man. I was a fool not to go there first. Chuck, bring father. All right, Major, we're ready. Excellent. Now, you boys watch the place here until Captain Albright contacts you. You can trust us, Major. <laughs> Never mind that. We must hurry. It'll only take a moment. Hello? Oh, Captain Albright. Hello, Joyce. Are the men still there? Certainly. They've never left for a minute. Are you phoning from the airfield? Airfield? What makes you say that? Why, well, Major Steele said you were waiting for us there. We were just about to leave with him when your call came in. Listen, Joyce. Try and control yourself. That man isn't Major Steele. It's Ivan Shark in disguise. Stalling, do anything you like, but don't leave. I'll be there as soon as possible. Is anything wrong? Bloody Ivan Shark is at the Edwards place now. Uh, we must hurry. Come along. I've changed my mind. We're not going now. Perhaps later. I'll not allow you to throw away millions. You're going now. Come on. Chuck! Empty! This is Ivan Shark!
did the best we could, sir. Honest, we did. And hell, there was a mob of them, an army. All right, all right, all right. Unless we find out where he's taken them, we're beaten. We've got one chance left. Come with me. And you're the only one equipped to handle the job. You bet we are. And I promise that within ten minutes, every road out of this area will be blocked. They won't get by. Great. I'll handle the airfields and air patrols. You can reach me at Steele's office. Fine. All right, boys. Get me the radio room. Get him in. Quite a little gathering. You're clever, Ivan Shark. But watch out that your cleverness doesn't trip you up. I'll be extra careful. What are you going to do, Father? I'm going to get out of this makeup. You go ahead. There isn't a chance, Major. And I am helpless. Oh, it's all my fault, Major. I should have seen through his disguise. Your fault? Nothing. I felt as though I was looking into a mirror. But we are in a bad way, Joyce. Not as bad as it might be. Captain Albright knows we're in the shark's hands. Then there is hope. Well, suppose one of us locates a place. Uh, what then? Report back here. The police are organized and are waiting for the call. Now, scatter and report back here not later than 5 o'clock sharp. It'll take time to locate them. Meanwhile, Major Steele and the others may be murdered. Oh, I'm sure they're not. Now, as for finding the hideout, it's a process of elimination. You each have a certain place to go, and we'll check them off one by one as you report back. chance to round up the whole gang in one scoop. But it would be foolish to make a move before it's completely dark. So, Burns, you and your partner get over to the chief's office. The police are waiting. Get out there, surround the place, and keep undercover until you hear my gun signal. Say, but you're not going alone. No, but uh, Captain Midnight is, and you're going to drive in. Okay, let's get going. I hope they hold their fire until they see the whites of my eyes. Uh, all right, men, shove off. Oh, well, Lieutenant, you'll be in charge of the office while we're gone, and remember, this to everyone. I understand, sir. You wait here, I'm going over the wall. And leave me here all alone? <laughs> it's not for long, you're to guide the police. Now sit still and don't let your teeth chatter too loud. If it does have what their government expected it to, it's worth all the trouble we've gone to. Oh, hello, Fury, ready? Yes, it's dark enough now. Well, I'm almost ready to go. Almost? It's a little unfinished business, we're our friends the enemy. Forget them, let's go. And have them starve to death? Why, Fury, I never knew you had such a cruel streak in your nature. <laughs> I'm waiting for word of the plane. As soon as it's ready, we'll leave. Here, Slim, tie this up. I warned you. I warned everybody. 
But no one listened to me. Now my invention is gone forever. I can't hear a sound. Maybe they're gone. It's not likely. <laughs> it's the boss's glove. I know it anywhere. Midnight. Shh, not so loud. My only hope is to surprise them. Surely, man, you'll not try to capture them alone? I hadn't intended to, but you're in a trap of death. I ought to know. I've been in it. I'll have to tackle them. Don't try it, man. It means sure death. Come on, Father. Let's go. Oh, patience, Fury. Patience. Turn on the loudspeaker. We'll see how our friends are faring. There is a chance. Remove that grating, and we could at least get Joyce and her father away. It's bars of chilled steel are embedded in cement. It would take hours. Hope should be here soon. I'll reconnoiter and won't attack unless necessary. Be on your guard. We'll get midnight, put him in with the others. Then we'll leave at once. Any help that comes will come too late. Places. Dory, guard this with your life. Okay, Borgman, that's all the bomb she'll hold. Okay, you can take those back. Well, get the chief. I'm anxious to get out of here. safe, man. Now tell the boss. Gee, Captain, this time I thought you were going to miss. Good work, Albright. Well, Major, I guess the chase is about over. I've captured Ivan Shark. 
He's in the control room, out cold. We'd better go in and handcuff him before he regains consciousness. Then your men can pick him up. Oh, uh, Chuck, will you stay with the folks? And open up! My hands are full! Ah! Oh. Uh, what about the rest of the gang? They're all rounded up, I'm sure. Help! <laughs> it's mud. <laughs> oh, careful there, Cap. I, I ruined my chassis. How did it work out? Well, all rounded up. I took care of the Spitfire and she was plenty tough. Uh, uh, there's your model and your plans. Good boy, Mud. I'll send Chuck right after you. Come on, Major. Oh! Oh! Chuck, uh, give Vicky a hand. He's out of commission. <laughs> Mr. Edwards, here are your plans and model safe and sound. At last. And due to your efforts, Captain Albright. You're wrong, Miss Edwards. I'm sure the captain will agree with me when I say that our thanks are due to Captain Midnight alone. <laughs> <laughs>